Namaste, namaste, peace and love, beautiful soul tribe. How are you? How are you? Blessings, blessings, blessings. Um, so happy new moon. Um, pretty intense energies, huh? Do you feel there's like a like a push and pull of energies, right? Um. I am feeling guided to just kind of go with this message, channel this message. Um, to speak my truth, you know, it's all about speaking our truth. And um, got this card today again, and it's all about utilizing our, our throat chakra and communicating from a place of honesty. Right? Self-honesty. We're being called to stop ignoring the truth our truth and for us to do that it requires self-honesty and it requires for us to open up to faith in ourselves in humanity and to trust right to trust the divine to trust ourselves and to trust others. And this new moon is the asking us to, to question, you know, who are the people that I surround myself? Can I trust these people? Do I trust myself? Can I trust myself? Can I finally say that I can surrender, bless the past, let go, and move forward? Can I start living from my heart? Because let's be honest, most of humanity live with their heart chakra closed. Right? Not just because of um, our childhood wounds, but because of all these old programmings and you know everything that has been projected into us and has been projected into us since very early, right? All these unexpected, sorry, unrealistic expectations that to be a human requires it, that to be a human you have to do that, you have to have this, be like that, be, you know, it's all these just illusions, right? Are just all those illusions and, and, and not just that, but also, um, you know, at this point you have realized that everything that you have experienced and that you are experiencing at this point is all about Past karma, it's all about life lessons, it's all about evolving and learning, right? So it requires a lot of courage to face all these truths. It requires a lot of courage and to let go of this, like, um, too much in our logical mind, and our ego mind, the ones that the ones is explanations and want to make sense of everything. And it's like, it's this very linear human way to think, right? It's so linear, right? <laughs> so it requires this like detachment from our logical ego mind, you know, human mind to like this more living from my heart, intuitive, that it's just so humble that it can just surrender it can just surrender to say you know what i free myself from all this guilt and shame and i also free and let go of all this baggage of holding on to other people emotional responsibilities right so it's just like <sighs> So it's like the old ways of being, the old ways of acting, the old ways of just experiencing life and relationships and reality, our reality, and this new 
right? The new life, the new creation, this new energy that is just so gentle and so genuine because it's so humble. It's just so humble. That's just what comes to mind is like this energy that is divine, that is humble, that I'm just seeing the color of pink, you know, unconditional love, right? It it's just so beautiful. That means living from our hearts, right? That it is this, ah, it requires for me a level of having to be so honest that yes, I'm gonna end up crying and I'm gonna have to feel those emotions that I don't want to feel because maybe at this point in my journey, I'm so tired and because they freaking hurt. But if they are there, then they must be acknowledged and feel they need, they want to communicate to us, right? They're, they're into our, our awareness because they want to be heard and acknowledged. But it's so beautiful when you are able to be vulnerable with yourself and stop what the fuck that you're doing and listen to those emotions and then keep moving forward, right? Living from your heart and being a humble human requires to be vulnerable. I have trouble pronouncing <laughs> Vul vulnerability. It requires vulnerability. And it's like, ouch, I don't want to be, I don't want to be betrayed again. I don't want to hurt. I just, can, can, you know, I'm just so tender. And a lot of us are so sensitive. We're so sensitive. Have you ever feel like, I don't want to feel all this, right? I remember saying, why do I care so much? Why do I feel so much? It's overwhelming. It just takes over me. And I have been so misunderstood, right? I have been seen in my life like I'm someone weak and unstable. And in reality, I'm just someone who just loves so deeply and cares so deeply. And I, and I tap into your energy and I absorb all your stuff. And then the level of compassion, the compassion that I just hold, it just takes over me. And sometimes I even get lost in other people's feelings and emotions and what's mine and what's then. And it's just so... It's intense being someone psychic, sensitive, or sensitive, you know, being a star seed, a light worker, someone who do cares, who do loves unconditionally, who is so divine. It, it, it's, it's, it's difficult, right? It's, 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 it requires a lot of self care, it requires a lot of self compassion, it requires a lot of solo time, it requires to be surrounded and around positive energy, positive people, people who support you, people who encourage you, people who are understanding that you do need space and they don't think they don't take things personal, right? People who respect boundaries. And so this is for me what the current energies are doing, right? I am softening so much more into my intuitive um, side, I am so, I feel so connected and so overwhelmed and like intoxicated with so much love inside me. And at the same time, it's just little bits, just little bits <laughs> of the old energies that are just falling apart. And it's just like, I, 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 right? Yeah, just think of this butterfly and this has been inside this cocoon and then the wings are like, oh, I just, okay. <laughs> I kind of need to stretch a little bit before like <sighs> opening up all the way, right? To show my colors and all of that. But, and then this is a new world, right? There is this anticipation of the new me, this butterfly who's ready to take over and start sharing my colors and my authenticity and my voice and all this beautiful freaking little creative side of me and love that I have and there's this wild, <laughs> right? This is an old world. It requires again to open up and it requires for all of us to be like childlike 
and have and hold this level of trust in ourselves and in the divine and trust in humanity for us to be able to completely open up and express who we are, to fly free. And then we also have to acknowledge, and I think this, this um, snowflake, obsidian, right? Duality, polarity. And it's also asking us, you know, these energies are asking us to remember you're still a human, starseed. You're still a human. So relieve. Release, sorry, the pressure of this world, all those unrealistic expectations, all those energies of comparing yourself, of just this, it's just this baggage of feeling burden, right? That you have to be this and that. And if if it and if your reality is not matching that, you know, that that you are it's having expectations of, then I can just go so much into my shadow again and I want to go back to a freaking cocoon. And I want to hide it and I don't want to do it and I don't want to show my colors and I don't want to because, you know, this human experience is, is filled with duality and polarity and you're going to have to experience those emotions that you might feel so uncomfortable with, right? You just don't want to go through that again. Because in reality, you're so sensitive. And sometimes, and sometimes it's this shadow, right? The shadow of us that want us to be this perfect, this per perfect self. And that's, that's what the, ego mind does, right? And what these energies are, are, are asking us, sorry, is to integrate that, do not dismiss it, give it a voice, acknowledge that that energy that might be burdensome in a way, right? And, and give it a look. Take some time, cry it out, face it, stop, and come back. And come back to your heart and come back where you know that you should give the same level of love, unconditional love and understanding and compassion and kindness and support. The same, those energies that you get to others, you have to get to yourself. Get them to yourself and come back to center and continue putting the efforts and continue giving from a place of unconditional love and continue believing in your dreams and continue to give your creative side a voice because you hold value, because you are important, because you know that your inner child is saying, let's go. Yes, there's a lot of unknown it's like we have to jump into the unknown, right? And, our, and your inner child is like, hey! And I'm just seeing the sun car right now, right? Approach everything with a childlike mentality. Can you give your inner child a chance, you know, to do the things that he, she, Dream of. Now, release expectations, right? Release those expectations. Not everything is black and white. And allow the divine, allow the divine that knows what's best for you. Allow your intuition. Allow your third eye, your crown chakra to guide you to where you need to be and to help you attract Because the divine knows what's best for you. So release expectations. Get out of your comfort zone. If you are working on a project, keep your focus. Prioritize. Balance your masculine and feminine energies. 
trust that you're being guided, trust that you and your loved ones are safe, trust that what's yours is yours and is divinely protected. Nobody can take it from you. The universe is abundant, infinite abundant. Do not get lost in lack mentality, right? And spiritual poverty. Right now, we all are building a spiritual spine. We're setting those foundations, right? We have been doing a lot of clearing. They all must be hurt, acknowledge, release to allow the new energies, the new light codes to be integrated. Integrate your shadow. For example, I have the tendency to be so hard on myself. I have the tendency to, when I am focused, I'm just, I, I go, I go full, full mood, okay? It's on. But sometimes what happens is burn out. <laughs> then I get extra freaking, you know, I, I'm grounded and then I'm like a child that is crying and frustrated. You know, there's a theme for me related to, to the, the, the expectations of myself are so high and it's like, ah, I get, I get angry with myself and I, that's not being a battle for me in my life. In, and I am not like that with others. I am so understanding and kind and I like empower, la, 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 all this jazz, right? That you're probably listening to this, you probably re relate to this. But if, when it comes to me, then it's core. Of course, it's related to my childhood wounds, right? Nella ma beat this. Nella ma tutta. You should know better. You should do better. How dare you? So it's all that stuff, right? Now, I do understand that that's not going to go away. It's part of my journey. It's part of my story, but it's now in my awareness. And every time I hear and I feel those voices, I'm like, okay. And I cry because my inner child needs to cry that shit out. And after I cry and I give them the attention, then I can come back and say, no. No. I am worthy of doing what I'm doing. I am a human. I do struggle with certain things like everybody is part of my shadow. Now I say, okay, here comes my shadow. I am feeling it. Well, I'm not going to let you stop me. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing because I'm not going to abandon myself because I already done that. I abandoned myself to become a people pleaser, to be there for others, and I abandon myself. And I have to choose to be here, to be there, to be everywhere <laughs> for myself, to honor my inner child, my story, who I am as whole, with the light, with the darkness, with everything that I am. I am committed. To unconditional love and you have to understand that you must love yourself you must feel worthy of everything that's beautiful because you are important because you are beautiful because you hold value release the old stories release the unrealistic expectations of perfection and these ideas and these burdens and continue working on your dreams, on your goals, on being a humble freaking human. I send you guys so much love. Blessings. Namaste.